Tea time with Trav. When y'all be pulling those scams and telling DoorDash, Uber Eats, etc., that you didn't get your order, do y'all understand? Just for you to get some money back, you're not hurting that business. You're actually hurting the independent contractor because they get penalized for that. And after so many penalties, they can't work for that company anymore. What's going on, y'all? It's Ayo Travel, and I'm back, 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 baby, back. I'm back again with my fork. I mean, my spoon. Here we go. On today's episode, <laughs> I saw it on TikTok. I said, let me try it. Y'all are probably thinking, Trav, what the hell are you doing? You know your stomach gonna hurt, and guess what? I'm thinking the same thing, but here we are. <laughs> I gotta stay off these apps. Oh, my God. Okay, so... Let me say grace, then I'm gonna tell y'all exactly what we're doing, even though I'm pretty sure y'all done figured it out by now. Father God, I come today to ask you watch over my stomach. That's it, I don't need to say nothing else. Amen, amen, and one more time, amen, quickly clank. So I saw this on TikTok. You take a Chipotle bowl, mix it with Wendy's chili, and eat it with Doritos. Simple, right? <laughs> Until your stomach start hurting. <laughs> <laughs> so let's. It's time to make it. There we go. There we go. Now, uh, I should probably. Let me see. I feel like I should probably scope, scope, scoop some of this, like, you know, to let the chili be able to, you know, get up in there. Y'all know what I'm saying? Right. Let me see if I make some. Food. Now watch the way shit. Y'all know I'm clumsy as hell. And this is hot as hell, bro. Oh my God, is it focused? I hope it's focused, y'all need to see this. Come on, focus. There we go. I think it's focused, I don't know, I really don't know. Try to waste the half the damn chili. Try to waste the damn chili. It's sitting right there. It's sitting right there. Yes. Oh. Oh, yeah, this some real. I ain't taste nothing of this out there. I need mean, a good chip. A scooper chip. This will do. I guess not. <laughs> oh my God. Focus, damn it. Whatever. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mm. Hold on. Now that is good. It's greedy, but it's good. Try your close up of the scoop. Oh, damn it. Oh, Lord. Oh, 
Oh my good God. Wipe all this chili up right here, y'all. <laughs> y'all know I do, I do not like. But well, I don't care about making a mess. But I don't want to leave a mess. That makes sense. Probably not. Soak it up, you know. But I'm doing what I gotta do. Soon as I get home, oh, this is just so much goodness, y'all. We have brown rice, pinto beans, corn, medium salsa, pico, sour cream, cheese, lettuce. Fajitas, chicken, and barbacoa. And yes, y'all know I got double meat. Yeah. Before anybody even question it, y'all know I got double meat. Y'all, y'all know I did. Now, what do Ayo Tribe look like? Getting just a regular chicken bowl and not stuffing it. fire with this chili. Mm. Tea time with try. That's a big piece. Stay on there. Uh-uh. 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 Come back. Come back. Come back. I'm gonna dab my pot. Wrong hole, fool, wrong hole. Wrong pipe pitch. There we go. There we go. There we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, really?
Stuber. Anyway, as long as you get talking. So, when y'all be pulling those scams and telling DoorDash, Uber Eats, etc., that you didn't get your order, do y'all know just so you can get a refund? Do y'all understand that when y'all do that just for you to get some money back, you're not hurting that business. You're actually hurting the independent contractor because they get penalized for that. And after so many penalties, they can't work for that company anymore. And I know some people probably don't give a damn because y'all so selfish, but y'all can understand. <clears throat> some people do that as a side hustle. Some people do it full time. But regardless of why they do it or how much they do it, they shouldn't be they shouldn't be held accountable for y'all fraud. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I had an Instacart order. I don't remember the damn order, to be honest. But. I noticed that it was a message from Instacart. Uh -huh. hmm, what's this? Apparently, the person had gave me a one star rating. Gave me a one star rating and said that they didn't receive their order. Of course, because they'd get refunded. <clears throat> now, again, all this happened, I didn't even know. Like, that's how fast Instacart must have, you know, investigated this, but. They actually removed the one star rating because it brought my, my rating down a lot. Um, but they removed the one star rating because, and this is what I was like, you know what, Instacart, I ain't even mad at you. After investigating that person, they said that that customer had a lot of unusual reports of not receiving their order and giving low ratings. So they found that to be strange. And basically they were able to prove that that customer was just doing that to get free stuff. So now I'm sure they're probably banned from using Instacart, which they should be. They should be because when you, you can only commit fraud but so many times. And the crazy part about it is y'all be getting away with <clears throat> y'all be getting away with stuff. But then it'll be y'all greed to get you. Y'all will try it one time and be like, ooh, they gave me all my money back with no you know, I didn't even have to show proof that my order wasn't delivered. Da, 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 da. And then you you make it a habit. And now you get caught. I was happy they got caught. I don't know if it was he or damn she, but I'm happy they got caught because that's what you get, scammer. Now, I'm all for <clears throat> holding businesses accountable because I'll complain to a business in a minute. Just one thing you better know about me. If I had an energy to complain, I'm going to. I'm going to. Because I'd be real particular about stuff. But I also make that very known. So, I'm going to get on the business. But then again, on the flip side, I'm not going to take that out on a specific individual. Oh, excuse me. I'm not going to do that <clears throat> when they're not at fault. I was a server. That was my first time getting a taste of that type of medicine. Because so many times our tip would be affected based off of how the kitchen did. If the kitchen, if you wanted a medium well steak, I worked at Outback Steakhouse. You wanted a medium well steak, but the kitchen sent it out medium. 
now we got to get you we got to put it back on the grill you know they can actually cook it up but if you wanted medium rare and they gave you medium well now i have to wait a whole however many minutes it's going to take for them to prepare that steak causing the customer experience to be trash and then they take it out on us as if we don't want cooking a damn steak problem And an like that, you're holding the wrong person accountable. And it don't be fair because the people in the kitchen, salary. <laughs> salary. People you don't see, they're on salary. The ones that you see that's catering to your every need, they're making two thirteen an hour. And they're living off your experience. I'll be so mad. That's right, because it gets nice sometimes. It's like, y'all got me up. Uh, you know what I mean? Up. Uh. But it's also like, how do y'all. <clears throat> okay, if you do a scam here and there, I won't judge you as much. You know what I'm saying? Because I understand people fall on hard times and you never know how desperate you can be until you broke. Until you are damn broke. And I get that. I get that. And I don't mean broke like all your bills are paid and you only have a hundred dollars to last you till Friday. No, I mean dead ass broke when you don't know where your next piece of money coming in at. So people to do something under those circumstances, I'm gonna judge you. Don't get me wrong, I'm going to judge you. But I have some type of little, you know, empathy for you. I'm still gonna judge you like that, I'm still gonna judge you. But, and people that just be doing like there's people on Bigo who I know make thousands and thousands and thousands a month. <clears throat> and they be doing that DoorDash stuff where they'll get it <clears throat> and then say that they never got it. But then be eating it live on Bigo. There was actually one host that was teaching people how to get free DoorDash and Uber Eats. Like they were telling them what to say when they call in to complain. In order to get the meal refunded. I said that's tacky as hell. Because again, that company don't deliver your order. That individual does. If you say, I did not get my order, they're going to look at whose name was on that order. And they will, there will be some type of repercussions. So when, when it comes to Instacart, if you have over a certain number of orders that you've completed, <clears throat> and then over four point, you have to have at least 4.7, excuse me, 4.7 stars out of five in order to qualify for high priority. So you're like, it's a platinum member, I think, diamond member, I think it's diamond member. And there's perks that come with diamond member. One of the best ones being access to orders before other people. So if me and Jamie are both doing Instacart, we could be both at the same store, we could be at Costco. There might be a $100 order that pop up. I'll see it, and I'll see it for, depends on how fat, now, now why this damn train gonna come in over my sweat? Depending on how fast me or somebody else who have priority access accept that order, it may be up there for a few moments. But Jamie would never see that because she doesn't have priority access, you know what I'm saying? So, 
when y'all do these fake claims and y'all give these people these fake ratings, that brings their rating down, which makes them lose. That affects their money. It affects their money because if you don't have that priority access, it's not to say that you won't make money or you won't hit whatever goal that you're looking for. But it's going to be that much harder because imagine having access to the big orders, the $100 orders, the 150s. Uh, the most I made in a day was $400. But imagine not being able to get them. You just getting terrible little orders. It's twenty dollars here, twenty five dollars here. You have to do way more of them, as opposed to getting a hundred dollar order and then oh, that goes sixty dollar order. Oh, that's a seventy five dollar order. Now you just made all that money in one day. Mm. And it didn't take you ten, fifteen orders to do. It only took you maybe three or four because you have priority access so you were able to see all the bigger orders before everybody else and you were quick enough to get them. <clears throat> so that, that affects that person's livelihood. It does. And then you also don't know because nobody's perfect. People actually do make mistakes. So if that person has made that mistake before in the past where they have delivered it to the wrong address, you don't know if you their third strike. The drug name is bogus. However, it was enough to get them gone. And granted, it's not all your fault because, I mean, if they had a mistake in the past, I wouldn't have to do that. However, you still played a part in that for no reason. Stuff like that made me so mad. Mm. Oh, speaking of damn Instacart and getting mad. Is this man at the Publix? <clears throat> I had to report him. He's an older black man. He looked like he's older than my mama. If he not, he didn't take care of himself when he was younger because he looked old as hell. Anyway, he works self-checkout. Every time I'm in there, whether it's me doing Instacart or it's me shopping for myself, I prefer to go through self-checkout if I can. Because I like to bag my stuff the way that I like to bag my stuff. I told y'all I can be real particular in some instances. Whenever I come in that line, that man watches me like a hawk. Hawk. Whichever the damn word is. Like, he stares me down. And multiple times he would have come over there. Oh, don't forget this. Don't forget that. And at first, I kind of, you know, kept it cute because I'm just like, okay, you know, I get it. He's doing his job. Da, da. But then once it became repetitive, I said, okay, now I'm starting to see a pattern here. So I watched him. I watched him with, like, other people, like, mainly white people, and he did not give them the same type of treatment. He let them go on about their merry little white way and do whatever. But he don't know if they still or if they're not still because he doesn't look at them as if he believes they're going to steal. One time I was in there, I got some, it was turkey necks or neck bones. One of them. And they were marked the hell down, y'all. Each pack was literally 99 cents. I grabbed them joints so fast, like, boom, boom. And to me, what I feel is though, I feel like whoever was working in that meat department, because you can tell that they weren't like, you know when some meat is going bad, those, they were not going bad. Look like somebody in that meat department had did that and put it, they thought they put it aside from themselves, but I swooped in for the kill and got it before them. Because when I got the register, it wasn't ringing up. So of course this dude's bad. He's the one working. So I have to ask for help. Because I can't, I don't know what to type in. 
Who grabs it? And he looked at both of them. Oh, um, this shouldn't be that price. I said, well, you don't know what the price would be because you don't work in the meat department. You work up here at self-checkout. So who are you to make the decision? He said, this has to be wrong. This has to be wrong. Um, let's go. Let's go talk to the meat department and see what's going on. What the hell are we going to talk to them for? I know the price is wrong. You know the price is wrong. No, it shouldn't be there. But who the hell are we to decide that it should or should not be there? We did not make those stickers and put it on that meat. And I, I said, what the hell? Oh, excuse me. What the hell am I verifying the price for? Or da 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 da. At the end of the day, y'all should not be promoting it as XYZ price if that's not the price. So he still decides to take it back there. Because I'm like, I'm going to argue this. I'm going to argue this. Um, so he takes it to the meat manager. Now, when I seen the manager, I said, oh, girl, here we go with the bull. I already know how this is going to go. He like somebody off Ned's Declassified. Like a nerd. And I said, oh. he definitely changed his damn price. So then the guy, the one that I told y'all be harassing me, he goes, you know, whatever, you know, once they're done with it, you know, I'll hook you up at the register. I'll hook you up. And I said, if you were going to hook me up, you would, we wouldn't be back here to begin with. Hold on. And the man come change the prices. I can draw not one of them went from ninety nine to nine ninety nine. The other one was twelve dollars and some change. And I say, you know what? Since they just pissed me off, I'm gonna take this up to the front and pretend like I'm buying it just to make just to make him have to walk back and put it back. So I go up there, um, and I put it to the side. I wasn't even going to pretend like I was ringing it up. I put it to the side, like right there. And, you know, I check out. I tap my card and he's like, hey, wait, wait. I didn't get to, I didn't get to discount those. I said, I don't want you to. They were already discounted and you made them another price because you wanted to be a snitch over something that had nothing to do with you. So I said, have fun putting those back. Oh, oh, oh. And like I said, that, that incident wasn't necessarily a part of me feeling as though it'd be some type of harassment. That was just, just an incident on why I don't like his ass. Another reason why I don't like his ass. But every time, I kid y'all not, every time I'm in there, he watches everything that's in my car. He watches me. And then y'all know with Publix, they have top notch registers. They have top notch everything. I love Publix. So if you go to Kroger or Walmart or something, you ring one. My bad, y'all. The camera cut off. It told me I, the video too long. Um, so I'm saying you go to Publix, you can ring bloop bloop, and it's gonna catch everything. But you go to Walmart or Kroger, you got to take your time because their system be lagging and they don't be processing everything as fast as you're moving. So you have published, boop, 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 boop. It's going to take all that. You at Kroger, you at Walmart, boop, 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 boop. So there was one time in particular doing Instacart. The person had four, um, what is it, yogurts. I'm like, what's the name of these damn things? Yogurts, the little small ones. Was it? No, that wasn't yogurt, it was cottage cheese. I'm sorry, cottage cheese. Y'all know they come in like the little five ounce thing. They have four of them. And a lot of their order was multiple. So, me, why would I ring up each one individually? No, I take the, the cottage cheese, one, two, three, four. Grab them, put them in the bag. Do it again for the other ones. He comes up to me. Oh, are you are you sure you're ringing up everything properly? Yes, I am. You're watching. You should know. 
Like, get that boy. So, I reported him to a manager. Because it really had me pissed off. And I told the manager, I said, <clears throat> I'm not sure if I look like I steal, but I don't. I don't. And on top of that, what the hell purpose would I serve stealing while I'm doing Instacart? That makes no sense. I'm going to risk going to jail by not ringing up these items for somebody else. None of these items are going to my house. So why the hell would I be trying to get them for free? This person don't know me. They're not going to bail me out of jail. Hey, thanks for stealing my bread. Let me bail you out. No. The hell? It don't make no sense. And now I was just like, and it, it's just even more strange coming from another black man. Like, for another black man to make me feel like I'm being stereotyped and I'm being watched, there's no secret. We can go into a store and you're gonna walk us like a damn something. I don't know. Something. Mainly beauty supplies. My black people, y'all know. Y'all know what it's like for us. Uh, and beauty supplies. I'm gonna have to wash my hands because these is not gonna come out. Y'all know them people that be owning them beauty supplies. Do not be playing. They will watch you down every aisle. Girl, they will walk down the opposite aisle and then come down your aisle and do a U-turn and come back down the aisle. They're going to watch you to make sure you ain't stealing. And that's what I feel like he be doing to me in public. Of course, he don't do that exact thing because he don't walk down the aisle. I'll be lying if I say that. But at the registers, it's like he just... It's like he just has tunnel vision on me like his black ass is stealing. Let me watch him. That's really what I feel. All right, you know what? Before I dog this man out the way I want to, let me let management know what's going on. Just so it can be documented. So when I do curse his old ass out, they know that I've warned him. Mm -hmm. And this is what happened again. After I already complained to management, I'm gonna curse him out. I'm gonna curse him out so good. It's, probably, it's actually probably going to be the best curse out that he's ever gotten. Mark my words. But I'm not signing up. So y'all know what to do. If you haven't already, go subscribe to the channel. The river right there. Bam, the bird, bam. So you can never find these images. Now, why would I stutter over the word right there? I was doing so good. Each and every time I drop a new video, but if you only want to take next video, drive, jump to the description, my squad, boom, but I'm going to see some social media, Facebook, never to me, and follow me, leave 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 me, come here, do whatever. Let me know what's like, what's going on, 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 what's